I'm Kevin with Easy Generator Switch, and we're here today to show you how to hook up the unswitched version of the uh, generator switch. It's a little bit easier than the switch version. There are only one single white wire. We have uh, many people ask us to go through this process and uh, show you just how simple it is. So I've got a switch here in my hand, and we've got a box, and this is what you'd be receiving with the exception of this what we call an offset nipple. So I took the liberty of making a knockout in the box. And this box is just a, an example of your house. There's circuit breakers in there. We've labeled four circuits on the top just for convenience to show you. But it, it's not a real panel. Uh, you certainly want to make sure that you are familiar with working in a panel, that your main is off, and that you still understand that the terminals at the top of your circuit breaker panel are, are still live. Um, so we will take uh, a standard box that comes with the switch and we will mount it with an offset nipple into our little mock panel. Put this in here, tighten it up. And normally, we, obviously your panel will be mounted against a, a plywood back. So ours is just on a little rotation so we can show uh, the ease of it. So once your offset nipple is installed, and your box is installed, that's, that's pretty much the hardest part. You're going to take your switch, which comes, comes completely pre-wired, and in the case of the unswitched version, you'll have one white, one green, a black, and a red. So we will take our four wires, and we will fish them through this little offset nipple to get into our panel. that, the next thing you want to do is we have a ground hooked up in the back with a ground screw. Just put our ground wire around that ground screw and make that connection so that you know your equipment grounding conductor is connected. Okay, so my switch is basically in. We'll take and remove the two screws. our box, get our switch placed back in there again, tighten these two screws back up, okay, there's our switch mounted, so we're left with four wires, so let's just assume that we're going to pick this light circuit this lighting circuit. So we've traced this light circuit back to this first breaker. So this is the one we're going to be dealing with. So let's take this, let's take our ground and our neutral and get them out of our way. So we're going to tuck them down here in the corner and get them tied into this terminal, uh, this neutral terminal. I hope you can see this. We'll do the ground. Here's our ground hooked up. And now we'll do the neutral. Put that under a separate screw. I don't like to double them up, that's not a good habit. So there's your ground and your neutral done. Tuck them out of our way for a second. So we've decided to use this breaker. So let's take our wire off of that breaker. And you want to take our red and put it where that one came from. So we'll take our red put it under that breaker snug it up give it a check and we're left with a, a black wire and the black that you removed from that circuit breaker so the next thing we want to do 
is take our black and the black that's going out to the lights in this case, twist them together, try to get at least a full turn on them, and put a wire nut on them which is supplied for you. And then tuck that away. So your easy generator switch for a unswitched version is now complete. You are ready to give this a test and make sure everything is okay. So what we'll do now is explain to you exact process of making the connection from your generator to here. Okay, so now we're going to explain to you the simple process of what happens when you lose power. Your switch should be in the normal position all the time. We have two switches here. One is an unswitched version, one is a switched version, but we don't, we're not concerned about that right now. So you're in the normal position. You've lost power. You're going to grab an extension cord. We prefer you use a 12-gauge cord. It's, it's just safer. Uh, it's a heavier cord. And you want to get a cord that is no longer than what you need. You certainly don't want to use a 50-foot cord when you only need a 20-foot. So you've lost power. Take a standard extension cord and plug it into your generator. And we have a sample of a generator. We have a generator sitting down here. And obviously, you never want to run a generator inside a house, ever, ever. All generators belong outside. You plug into there. Take our switch. Go to the off position. Your generator is running. You take your cord, plug it in, switch the generator, and now the light circuit, which we wired from that breaker, is now running. We are not touching any of our breakers. We're not touching our main. We're not doing any of that. Um, there is no backfeeding. Real transfer switches do not backfeed. That is a fallacy from people hot wiring things, and obviously that's the whole purpose of having a transfer switch is safety. So we've got, we're up and running, and now you're sitting and your lights have come back on, or something's come back on your house, you realize your power's back on. What do you do next? Very simply, come out here, throw the switch to the off position. You've shut your load off. Pull your cord out, shut your generator off. That's completed. Come back in, switch this to the normal position, and you're exactly where you were in your normal mode. So the, the, the safety idea and the back feed is completely gone. That doesn't exist. Again, you don't have to touch anything in your panel. It's fine the way it is. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And when you're ordering, the only thing you're going to need to know when you're ordering is your make and model number of your generator. Our database will tell us what switch, whether you get a switched version or an unswitched version, is associated and matches your generator. Um, we are the only company in the United States that makes the switches match to your generator. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and uh, look forward to talking to you again. Thank you.